As the U.S. dollar devalues, investing in tangible assets like real estate becomes vital to financial security. Las Vegas real estate is selling for pennies on the dollar with strong rental cash flow. Call Glenn Plan Okay, let's uh, let's talk to them about the next trade here. Worries over China's economy continuing to hang over the commodity sector. As we mentioned, investors fearing the country will begin to uh, curve lending as soon as its economy remains so hot. So is China a bubble? Let's ask Peter Schiff. Uh, Peter, you know, the concern in the market here is that uh, China will start hiking interest rates, and that uh, has really caused some pressure on a lot of these stocks. Uh, your view is that it's not so bad. Well, I, I think it is going to be bad for the United States when China starts raising rates because that's going to put a lot more pressure on the dollar. You know, as the rates for the RMB go up, that's going to cause more money to flow out of dollars into RMB. And, of course, if the Chinese are not going to be expanding their money supply as much, they don't have to hey, buy Peter? as many treasuries. And that means the Fed is going to print even more dollars to buy what the Chinese don't want. Oh, hold on, Peter. Real quick on that point, though. I mean, if you look back when China was raising rates from 07 through 08, it was 17 times. Uh, the RMB didn't really move that much against the dollar. In fact, how can you even argue that the RMB moves on fundamentals? It's a managed currency, and, and the dollar's moving well, against the RMB to is totally independent of, of what they're they, doing on monetary <clears throat> policy. No, what's going to happen? is even if they hold the RMB flat, the fact that rates are rising on the RMB, if there's no downside to the RMB because it can't fall against the dollar, then people who hold dollars are going to move to RMB to get the higher yield. Well, there's no downside. People? Chinese investors or U.S. <laughs> All investors? All over the world. And people will do it on leverage. People will borrow dollars to buy RMB. There's, no, there's, there's a carry there. Yes, they will. And ultimately, <laughs> the Chinese are going to let the RMB rise. They're going to let that band go up. They can't keep the RMB down because then they have to flood if, their if the country with economy money. that you say is so weak, Peter, China still got to export their way out of it. They're going to keep no, they, their currency undervalued. No, They're going they to play the don't. same export game that they've done for the they whole year. That's have consistent to, with what you're saying. You're saying the world has no growth. China they, they, has to export their way They out. have 1.2 billion people. They don't have to export anything. they got plenty of people in their country to buy their stuff. Look at what's happening to the Chinese domestic economy. Can I ask a, a quick question yeah. of, of Tim or Peter? In terms of money flowing into China, into the yuan, is that possible or, or will China clamp down, down on the amount of hot money going into the country. Well, I mean, well, to control people, that. Remember, the, the money markets are, are not open to to foreign players in the same way that they are here. So I mean, that, remember, so the argument China, here is that China it, that basically cannot, can't happen. Yeah, China cannot tighten its money supply and tighten interest without if, without stop buying dollars, without not buying as many treasuries, because the the whole when they keep money supply loose and they keep expanding, no, they that's they, when they're buying. They raised if, reserve they, ratios this week. They sucked fifty billion dollars out of their market. That's what they're they not going to they have. Did nothing to do with treasuries. No, they don't have any real tightening until they stop expanding money supply. And when they stop expanding money supply, they stop buying treasuries. That's how it works. Hey, Peter, it's Joe. Real quick, we've got a correction obviously occurring in the marketplace right now. I know you've been a fan of being long gold. Do you see anything on the pullback where you'd say, you know what, this is an opportunity for me to get in? How do you want to be positioned in a portfolio right now? What do you want to be long? What do you want to be short? I, I bought another gold stock for my personal account this morning. I mean, I buy every pullback uh, in gold and gold stocks. You know, I have a job, I earn money, I got to invest it somewhere. Uh, I think gold's going a lot higher over the, over the near term, over the long term. Gold stocks are going to go up. Uh, you know, whenever they go down, it's an opportunity to buy. There's always noise in the market. In the short run, oftentimes, uh, you, you get opposite moves, like the dollar rallied on this China news. But what China is doing is very negative for the dollar. So if you understand the fundamentals, you can always fade the short-term counter-reaction. Hey, Peter, is there any U.S. equity right now that you could say to somebody, you know what? I'd like to own that stock, whether it be Coke or Pepsi or anything. Is there anything in the U.S. area that you would say in an equity form, I'd buy that stock? I own, look, I own some U.S. stocks. I own some oil companies. I own some mining companies. You know, but I'm are not there completely specific out. Names, are there specific names that somebody could say, you know what? Which oil companies are better than others in this environment? Yeah. Which mining yeah. companies are better in this environment? Yeah, I think, I think the best ones, unfortunately, are abroad right now. But I own several stocks in my own account. But I just assume not to speak to speak about them because last time I did I got a call from the regulators and so I'm trying to keep quiet. All right, we don't want you to get to put in the clunker. <laughs> you can't Peter. Keep quiet. All right, Peter, Come thank on. you Peter Schiff uh, of Europe Pacific Ca Capital also the author of Crash Proof 2.0 the fine book you see there. Coming up next, we're staying all over this market meltdown and bringing you the very latest on this weekend's top story, the Bernanke confirmation plus all eyes on Apple next week. Joe's going to buy a tablet, but is he still buying the shares? Stay tuned.